get them much longer. under attack. Fire, baby.
Yes. Go for a good meal. It's not over. Come to the skull. Help me. against the Absolute. I must subdue him, or everything we've worked towards is lost. Don't let my fall deceive you. I am the one that's been protecting you. I am the one that came to you in your dreams.
rock resists all attempts to shatter it.
resists all attempts to shatter it. The rock resists all attempts to shatter it. resists all attempts to shatter it. The rock 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 resists all attempts to shatter it. This is my time. The rock resists all attempts to shatter it. The rock resists all attempts to shatter it. My 
time's running out. The rock resists all attempts to shatter it. 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 Look at me like that. I am a mind flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. It's obscene. To owe my life to a damned geek. No more lies. No more tricks. I will have answers. gate, though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure, to a colony of mind slayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. I 
a thrall like any other. But I was fortunate. I broke free and started a new life in my old city. I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. Rarely missed. And they fueled me when I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stelmane. We formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. The largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though of course, they had no idea what I really was. My needs were sated. I was happy for a while. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself. Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call the Emperor. The man was intended as a slight to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've been. Rather them than potential future allies like you. Indeed, his hubris knows no bounds. To enslave me, that was his nature. But to enslave an elder brain, a questionable decision. I shall look forward to sharing his downfall with you. We fought to tame Prince Orpheus, the son of Gith herself. Orpheus? Impossible! He was slain by Shastil Kithrak himself. Quite possible, I assure you. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus' his mother to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus' his mother left, the usurper took her place. Vlacheth declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Vlacheth wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her, and so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prism. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my home on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. Gortash sent me on a mission to retrieve the Astral Prism. I was one of many, but the first to find it. How Gortash or the other Chosen learned of its existence, I do not know. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside. And found Orpheus. I realized what the prism was for. Containment. While my body was within the prism's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan. 
plan to overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue Orpheus and find allies in the outer world. You. Most certainly Orpheus. He is a threat to her reign. Some Githyanki still revere him in defiance of their teachings. Blackith was safe as long as they believed him to be dead. But as you can see, he is very much alive. I don't understand. The histories claim the prince was burned to ash in the skies. Your histories are fabrications. The prince was not killed. As you can very well see, he was in prison. She kept him this way because she was reluctant to eradicate such power. Power that she might one day wish to take from him. If the Githyanki ever find out what she has done, there will be civil war. Blacketh will be finished. That would be a terrible idea. The moment he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him, and in so doing, you would doom us both. Even though he is subdued, you feel Orpheus's revulsion, a pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid, a sworn enemy. Just like me. already more illithid than you realize. It has improved you. You seek to reverse an inevitable process. A process of evolution. When I first escaped from the Elder Brain, I too railed against the change. But the longer I have inhabited this form, the more it has grown on me. Even if my original body remained intact after I transformed, I would not return to it. Doing so would only impose limitations. As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. a chance of defeating the Elder Brain if you embrace your latent lithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle while continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. If you let me, I can evolve you. The answer is twofold. One, I can, but it would kill you, as I told you before. Two, why would I? You have done well with the limited form you have, but you would do far better as an illithid. 
So, do you wish to evolve or not? You will be able to do things you never thought were possible. There will be physical alterations, of course, but only partial. You will retain most of your current form, and you will soon see that the benefits outweigh any perceived loss. Whatever this gig offers is no gift to you. You continue to surprise me. Your mind is truly something special. Now, hold out your hand. It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. A tadpole, nurtured by the psionic energy of the astral plane, cocooned here for millennia. It has become extraordinary. What are you? A coldness seeps through your veins as the tadpole awakens. It's yearning almost unbearable. <clears throat> your mind is a veritable feast. I suppose if it works. But if you had opened your mind to it, Rather than consuming it, your allies could have taken advantage of its power as well. The tadpole's essence courses through you. Where it touches, your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Your body has never felt more connected. Your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. You are... We mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. You heard the Chosen. The Brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the Brain, and bring it under our control.
Since you ingested my gift instead of using it, there is nothing further I can do for you right now. Proceed. Since you ingested my gift instead of using it, no time to rest. Pick the wrong fight, friend. Since you ingested my gift instead of using it, there is nothing further I can do.
can't afford to stay idle. the end of all hopes of survival and freedom. With startling clarity, you realize the Mind Flayer was telling the truth. If it dies, so do you. Your stomach drops, your chest constricts, your thoughts begin to splinter. 